Bubba Wallace has had enough of Kyle Petty. Bubba Wallace has had enough of Kyle Petty after one of NASCAR's biggest Nepo babies criticized him for not doing a pre-race interview before last weekend's regular season cutoff at Daytona. He said Bubba was too mentally fragile if he couldn't do that. You know, the type of pre-race interview where they say, what's the plan for today? And the drivers in some generic form with a bunch of keywords will be like, you know, the plan's to go fast and win the race. Well, fascinating. We learned a ton there. So it's not like you're really providing a ton of different content where the fans are like, oh man, we didn't hear from Bubba today. I don't know if he's actually committed to trying to win this race. Pre-race interviews are overrated. There's the same thing with post-race interviews. Like, what's the point of those? But regardless, listen to what Bubba had to say this week at Darlington when he was interviewed by NBC before the race, and he actually did a pre-race interview, much to the celebration, I'm sure, of Kyle Petty. Take a listen. Well, you know, I'm just here fulfilling my media obligations before the race. So, uh, yeah, I got a word count, though. So I start speaking too many words. I start to get really anxious and mentally fragile. So now on to the shit that matters. Uh, yeah, we made some good adjustments, I believe. So, yeah, let's talk about the things that actually matter, which isn't Kyle Petty, who, for the record, did want to make sure that everyone knew he has Bubba Wallace down as a first round exit from the playoffs, which is just like very on brand for Kyle Petty. He's trying to position himself as NASCAR Stephen A. Smith. I think he has bombastic takes, which I don't think he actually believes, but he does them just because it gets NBC some hits on social and they can go out there and be like, did you hear what Kyle Petty said? Who cares what Kyle Petty has to say? The guy has eight wins in a NASCAR Cup Series career. He's only relevant in the sport still because of what his last name is. It's, if he wasn't a Petty, I don't think anybody cares about Kyle Petty. He ran the last 13 seasons of his career, scoring exactly three top five finishes and no, not coming anywhere near a win. So it's not like Kyle Petty really has a high ground to stand on in terms of success in the Cup Series. Sure, he has eight wins. Can't take that away from him. That's more than some guys. But at the same time, if a guy like Austin Dillon, who has also built his entire career off nepotism, has half the wins you do and under half the races, I, I don't know what that says about, about you. So regardless, Kyle Petty went out there and criticized Bubba Wallace, and Bubba responded by <laughs> mocking him. And it's fine, right? But I do think it's weird when your broadcast partner employs on-air personalities that are picking what seem to be personal fights with the drivers that they're covering. And sure, Bubba Wallace does have a history with... Richard Petty Motorsport, and he obviously famously left them to go to 2311 Racing, which is, by all accounts, a much better career move at the time. And, you know, if he would have stayed at Petty, it becomes Petty GMS and then Legacy Motor Club, and then he does eventually find his way to the TRD family, uh, assuming that's where 2311 is staying, which I'm almost positive it is at this point. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Kyle Petty might hold some sort of little personal vendetta against Bubba for taking a better career opportunity for himself at the time, which moving to 23 obviously was. He's won two Cup Series races. He's in the playoffs. Uh, it seems to have panned out for him. But to have Kyle Petty get out there and criticize the drivers, and NBC is really guilty of this as well, and I think it's a conflict of interest, which you're always going to have it with NASCAR broadcasters unless you just go out and get some schmo off the street that has never, one, isn't related to somebody in the sport, which that's about impossible to find these days, or two, hasn't been a former driver, crew chief, crew member, or anything like that, just a random guy that is just good at announcing, Rick Allen, if you will. But you have Jeff Burton on there who works with the driver's association as like the liaison between them and the RTA, and he never wants to criticize a driver at all. He'll go beyond means to criticize anybody. You have Dale Jr., obviously fields cars, has a relationship with Hendrick Motorsports. And then, you know, you have Steve LaTarte, obviously an ongoing relationship with Hendrick Motorsports. He is still gets a paycheck from Spire, even. So you have all of that going on. And then you have Kyle Petty, who obviously his dad famously owns a race team and is now the ambassador for Legacy Motor Club. And, you know, there's just a lot of conflict of interest in there. And I think sometimes they let their personal feelings maybe affect what they're saying on air. And I think this is a perfect example of that. I think Kyle Petty doesn't like Bubba Wallace and wanted to criticize criticize him for that. To call somebody mentally fragile for not wanting to do a pre-race interview, though, is a bit ridiculous, right? I mean, you talk about how stressful the situation is that Bubba and Ty Gibbs, in fairness, Ty Gibbs also didn't do his pre-race interview, and I think Kyle did also call him mentally fragile, which Ty, I mean, not, no excuses for either one. If they don't want to do it, they don't want to do it. I don't think there's an issue with that, and Bubba's issue really wasn't the fact that Kyle called him mentally fragile. He just felt that, you know, his PR person was getting thrown under the bus and he didn't appreciate that, which I appreciate somebody standing up for, you know, the people that work for them. At the end of the day, 
not doing a pre-race interview doesn't affect anybody. NASCAR wanted to put the regular season finale to create this dramatic race at Daytona, a really stressful race in its own. And now you add in the fact that your playoff life depends on what happens in that race. These guys are incredibly nervous already. They already don't sleep well before most plate races. They're not going to if their playoff lives are on the line like Bubba's was. So to not want to do a pre-race interview makes total sense. Like why, why do you want Parker or whoever to put a microphone in your face and be like, what's the plan for today? Dude, uh, clearly it's to finish the race, get enough points and be into the playoffs. Like what, what do you think it is? Nah, you know, I hope we don't get wrecked out. And if we do, then it is what, like, no, nobody's saying that. So just shut up, Kyle Petty. Like, I don't think anybody, there's obviously there's a sect of NASCAR fans, the older NASCAR fans that do think that Kyle Petty provides, I don't know, some sort of entertainment or value to the broadcast. I'm not sure you're going to find many people that are going to be like, oh man, I really miss Kyle Petty if he were to go away. It is what it is. It's just, it's Kyle Petty. He's a guy that has made a name or in the sport based off of his name. It's a Michael Waltrip situation that we have going on here. So Regardless, Kyle Petty, seemingly nice guy if you meet him in person, but at the end of the day, he doesn't really provide much to the broadcast, so it is what it is. But good on Bubba for, you know, throwing some shade there in his pre-race interview at Darlington. And, uh, yeah, maybe hopefully we can move on from this and talk about something else that matters, like Alex Bowman and Daniel Suarez getting into each other. Who knows? But like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram, Twitter, and threads at BreakHardBlog.